Common errors. Jess, you were talking before about uh, mistakes that your Hungarian students always made, how some students from the same country all make the same mistakes again and again and again. Well, I work here in Thailand, and they have a very cute phrase, same, same, which I think means to describe something as being the same as something else. And I spent five, ten minutes talking to a student, explaining that instead of using same, same, she should use the same as. Um, and I was trying to get this phrase over to her, and finally she understood what I meant, and she looked at me and said, ah, same as, same, 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 same. <laughs> In Spain, I think the most common mistake um, was that in Spanish, the noun people is a singular noun. You'd say la gente es. Um, so when my Spanish speakers would use this noun, they would always say, oh, the people is very hungry or the people is very quiet. And I spent most of my time in Spain going, ah, ah, ah. After they use the known people, even upper intermediate advanced learners were still making that mistake. In France, one very common uh, mistake was a pronunciation error. The sound th at the, big, uh, at the beginning of words, for example, there or those, that the French would pronounce with a Z sound, so there or those. And I was very reluctant to correct it because it's such a sexy accent and it sounds so much more gorgeous with the French zzz. Um, but I did have to correct it and I was always in France sticking my tongue out of my mouth to emphasize to them that their tongue needed to be forward of their teeth to make the correct sound. You said you, you worked in Libya. What were the common mistakes for Libyan students? One that always made me smile was when a cheery student or uh, the security guard at uh, the school or people that I met around the compound where I was living would give me a cheery wave and say, how are you? I'm fine. And it took me a good month or two before I realized in Arabic the question and answer do go together. It just sounds strange in English. I thought they were jumping the gun by answering their own question. Sounds like they were talking to themselves. And how about in Japan? Now, Japanese have another common phrase, which I think is used both in Japanese, and because it comes from English, they use it in English too. It's so-so. Um, it's, I'm not quite sure when you might use it. It's when things are not quite good, not quite bad. So if you say, hey, how are you doing? They will say, so-so. Or if you say, hey, how's your food? They'll say, so-so. It's not English. And the first few months I had of hearing that, I really couldn't quite work out. I understood the meaning, but I knew that it was not something I would ever say. But the difficulty there is trying to think of a good alternative. It's that kind of non-committal, I don't really care answer that uh, I like strong opinions. I love it. I hate it. Let's leave this so-so. I agree. It's like overuse of the adjective nice. It just sounds really bland. Staying connected.